All right, Breck was talking a little fall foliage earlier, but we officially begin fall, what, next week? Breck? Next week, we okay. start to see that fall, but we're already starting to see those colors changing. We're just not seeing the temperatures as of yet reflective for the season. We're still feeling more summer-like, where afternoon highs today getting up into the mid 80s along the Wasatch Front, though right now, already down into the 60s in Salt Lake City as we'll be looking at overnight low temperatures getting into the upper 50s and low 60s here along the Wasatch Front, keeping it clear and lining things up for a nice weekend. Actually, it looks like it'll be warmer tomorrow than today, upper 80s with the expected highs in Salt Lake City. Staying dry here initially for the first half of the week. We're going to see a little bit of a cool down by Wednesday and then a bigger drop with another cool front that'll hit and that second front Looks to bring some precipitation by the end of the week. Yeah, leading up to the first part of fall, we'll be feeling more of those fall temperatures, at least by the end of the week. Now, as we take a look at satellite radar across the state, it is a quiet evening. It will remain quiet here. We're going to see a little push of some upper level moisture. Start to see some cloud cover as we head into tomorrow night and then overnight Sunday into Monday. We might see just a few sprinkles, particularly across the mountains. But for tomorrow, the high pressure in place, we're not breaking it down. So we're filling the heat and mainly keeping it dry. But again, the best chance of precipitation as we're going to see a couple of storms tracking through and some cool fronts that hit one of which again, as I mentioned by the middle of the week, and then this one is the one that's really going to be bringing those temperatures down as it moves towards Canada and then starts to dig southward. It's in its sights to the state of Utah. It will see those cooler temperatures again as we go by the end of the week. But let's get you to here over the next 48 hours where again, as I mentioned, we're going to see some high level clouds make a sweep here across portions of central towards northeastern Utah, even southeastern Utah with some residual moisture maybe an isolated mountain sprinkle. That's all we're going to be looking at. No thunderstorm activity. No, we're not worried about flash flooding at all. But again, that moisture in place, we start to see a little bit of activity future radar. Again, as we go from tomorrow night through early Monday morning, could produce some mountain sprinkles. And then maybe particularly as we go later on in Monday, some showers across eastern Utah. All in all, we'll be looking at partly cloudy conditions as we go into Monday. But we're going to be hanging on to these warm temperatures here. What we're seeing tomorrow, to start the work week off as well. Clear overnight in many spots getting down into the 50s and 60s here along the Wasatch Front. Some uh, areas could get down into the 40s, like as you can see in price over towards Ridgeville. Low 60s for overnight lows expected in St. George. Tomorrow it's 93 in St. George where you've got low 80s in Cedar City. Many spots in the 80s tracking through central Utah. Some areas as you look over towards the Uinta Basin, towards Price and Castle Country, looks like afternoon highs could be in the 70s. But again, here along the Wasatch front. We're expecting to see highs in the mid to upper 80s. Now for St. George, you've got the 90s for the next couple of days, then 80s and then even 70s. It's that second cool front, that second push of that cooler air, which really will bring in more of that fall like feel here by the end of the week. Now for northern Utah, upper 80s. Again, we're going to be getting down into the 70s and then even 60s as with that next or second cool front, it brings a better chance of some rain showers Thursday and Friday should clear out for the weekend. It's going to be a cool start to the weekend, though, as we'll look again with these temperatures here for this weekend, feeling more summer like we're going to kind of see a season changing situation here as we look over the next seven days.